How to clear out old vendor bills already paid in QuickBooks. Hey there, this is Matt Holtquist with the QuickBooks University. And I've got two ways I want to show you how to do this. And they come up in, in different ways. And I'll explain that in just a second. So a lot of times, you know, you take over the books for someone else or whatever. I mean, things happen, things get entered, and you've got these bills that are hanging out there. So let me show you an example here. If I go to vendors and pay bills. All right, so you'll see here in this sample company file, we've got one here to Davis Business Associates in 2022 for $68.56 and express delivery service from 21 for 1287.30. And you know, if you've been doing the books, you're like, hey, I know this has been paid and it's still just hanging out here as a bill. Now, what a lot of people do also is they will go to reports and go down to vendors and payable and look at their AP aging. And, you know, when you look at this and you see this is a report, you know, you should be reviewing periodically. You'll see, oh, my gosh, these are just hanging out there and they're really old. So I know we've paid it. Uh, we need to clear these out of our accounts payable. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do. OK, so the first way is if you are in an open year. Now, what I mean by that is if if you have not done the taxes, you have not closed the books for the year, this is the way you do it for the first way, okay? Very, very important because if it's a closed year, you wanna do it a little bit differently. So if the taxes have already been filed and you know, you've closed the books for that year, the second way I'm gonna show you how to do this is the way you wanna do it. So this first way, we are going to take Davis Business Associates, uh, this one right here from 2022. We're going to say, hey, the tax return has not been filed. Uh, we can still make adjustments for 2022. So here's how we're going to do this. So the first step you want to take is you want to go to your check register and find where that is. Because nine times out of 10, what happens is a bill is entered and then somebody goes in and pays it through a debit card or a check or whatever, and they just go and write checks and they don't apply it to the bill. So this bill just hangs out there. That's what happens so many, like every time that I see this, that's exactly what happens. Okay, so we're in the same year. We're still in an open year. We're going to go to banking and we're going to go to use register. Now we're going to choose the checking account and we have to go back to March 8th, 2022, which is the date of that bill. So you've got to scroll and you've got to look and go all the way back to 3-8-2022 or somewhere around there uh, because you're probably going to see that in the check register. Okay, so if we go to 3 8 We'll see here, there's a check, uh, it says debit, so it's probably a debit card, paid this to Davis Business Associates for $68.56. Okay, so you find it in the register and you're gonna go and you're going to change the account from office supplies to accounts payable. Okay, that's the first step, all right? Now, the next one is you need to double click on this to go to the actual bill. All right, so you see it says accounts payable, 6856. You have to associate this with that vendor. I know it says customer job and that's okay, but you type in the vendor name, Davis Business Associates, Davis Business Associates, 6856, accounts payable. That is crucial that you put accounts payable and the name of the customer. Okay, so you're gonna save and close. Okay, so now you see in the check register, it says Davis Business Associates, accounts payable 6856. Now you're going to go up to vendors and pay bills, and you're going to check off Davis Business Associates $68.56, and you're gonna see down here that there is a credit. So we wanna set the credit let me bring this over here and you're going to see it automatically checks off credit 6856 amount to use 6856 click done and you should see up here amount to pay is zero 
All right, so it's checked off. We say pay selected bills and we are done. Now, let's go to vendors, pay bills to show you. Okay, so Davis Business Associates is no longer on there. And we are also going to go to the accounts payable aging summary. And you'll see that Davis Business Associates, the 6856 is no longer there. Voila, you have cleaned up that old bill that is still hanging out there. Okay, so that first way is the way to do it when you're in an open year. Now, the second way when you are in a closed year and you don't want to go back and change anything because taxes have been filed, the books have been closed, etc. I'm going to show you how to do that in this one. So this one we have 128730. I'm going to double click on this, double click on this to go to the bill, and you'll see that this was from 1013 2021. All right, so the first thing we want to do, and I'm going to go to vendor or view open window list, is we want to go back to the check register and find that to make sure that it was paid. All right, so if we go to the check register, that was 1013 21, and we see Express Delivery Services 1287.30, also paid by a debit card. So yes, it was paid, and so we know that that needs to be cleared out of there. Now, you want to take note of the account. So this was put to postage, all right? So we took an expense in that year for postage and uh, for the 1287.30, but because we also had a bill put in, for 1287.30, and it was put to postage, we essentially doubled up that expense, okay? So in this case, in the closed year, what you wanna do is a journal entry, all right? So come up here to go to company drop down, and you wanna to go to make general journal entries. Now, for the date, you wanna put in the exact same date, so this is 10-13-21, the entry number, if you have a numbering system, you're going to put that in. All right, so the first account is going to be accounts payable. And what you want to do is you want to debit. Okay, so a debit reduces accounts payable. So the whole goal here is we are trying to get rid of this accounts payable. We want to get it off the bills list. So we are going to debit this amount for $12.8730. And then over here, you've got to put in the name, just like on the other one for Davis Business, you want to associate this with Express Delivery Service. Now the next line down here is gonna be the same one that it was originally put to. This is postage, and this is now reducing the expense in the current year, all right? So since we doubled up the expense in the prior year, we are getting rid of that double expense in the current year. And by doing a credit, you are reducing the postage expense, okay? You do not need to put express delivery here. You can if you want to, but you do not need to. The important thing is you put it on the accounts payable line. All right, so we are going to save and close. All right, so it saved. And so now we want, again, to go back to pay bills and we want to go check off express delivery. And you're gonna see down here, again, there is a credit, set credits. Let me bring this over here. And you'll see that we are going to apply the credit. So we're gonna say done. And then you'll just make sure amount to pay is zero and pay selected bills. Okay, now, let me just show you when we go back to vendors, pay bills, express delivery is out of there. And so is Davis Business Associates. And if I go to the AP aging summary, you can see that both of them are out of here. Now we still have express for a current bill, but the old bill is out. Okay, so again, as a recap, two different ways to clear out old vendor bills already paid in QuickBooks. The first way I showed you, uh, changing in the check register is for an open period, and the second way is for a closed period. Any questions, any comments, feel free to leave those below. Also, please check out the QuickBooks University. 
got some great uh, free tutorials over there that really show you the top mistakes that most people make and how to avoid those uh, and also some fantastic training. That website is qbuniversity.org.